But Branka, of course, we brought some little bottles of Branka. Poncha, in fact, Poncha, the ready-made ones from Duty Free. Just, um, you know, we'll have those in a summer evening, maybe. We bought three bottles of Branka, one of which I am going to be making tomato Branka out of, and it's mine. The other two, we will, you know, have um, lost us a few years making a variety of ponchas. Um, from the market, we brought back some bare-rooted agapanthus bulbs for the garden. Um, heard from a lot of people that these grow well in the garden in the UK. I've yet to find out whether that's true for my garden and me. Lack of green fingers. Um, John has brought back bare-rooted frangipani sticks and we have learnt how to grow those. We brought back some um, packaged and sealed spices and herbs. So what is this? Um, that's the saffron. That was three euro for that, that 55, grams. 55 grams of saffron. Smoked paprika. Oregano, that looked like a really nice fresh batch of oregano. And um, just general mixed herbs. A curry, a bit of powder, which make us probably about three curries. And a bag of dried chilies, which is handy because our chili plants seem to have died a little while we've been away. Oh, and essentially for making the poncha, we have bought a poncha swizzler. We also bought a tea towel. There's quite a few of these bags with uh, floral design, saying Madeira and variety of colours and, and patterns and things. And I just thought that was quite on trend as a present for somebody who, a family member who didn't come with us. Oh, pretty. They're quite big on knitwear over there. And there's poncho, poncho style um, knitwear in many, many places. This cost me 30 euro, a nice um, woolen um, poncho, thick poncho. For, uh, the, for the winter, so that's that's a good thing to look out for. The, here's a leather belt. Now, I didn't buy that this time. I bought this six years ago, and I wear it almost every day. It's my jeans belt, and it says Madeira on it there. Um, I uh, took it with me and wore it a lot on shorts when I was out there. But as I said, I've worn this almost every day on jeans. It is my go-to belt. And look, there's no cracking or wearing on it. So I thought that you know, belt, leather belts are a good thing to look for. I mean, that's just bent. There's no, no cracking or wear. Um, you see it's a bit stained on the inside where it's rubbing against jeans. But that's it. It's not, you know, really good. And that's going to last me, continue to last me. So that's six years already. It's going to continue to last me a long time. So leather belts are a good thing to look for. I didn't find a, a brown leather belt in the, in the sort of design that I wanted. But... Black leather, I found one that fit me, and um, so I bought that. Husband bought one as well on my recommendation. So that's two leather belts. We did buy it again this time, black this time. Cork is big in Madeira, well, Portugal and in Madeira. Cork bags, purses, shoes, belts, corks, cork, lots of things. I bought this lovely cork bag, and um, this was 56 euro. I was told that the cork doesn't need spraying. It will discolour in the rain, but it'll dry out perfectly. It's got waterproof lining inside that I can see this one that I bought here. Um, so it may discolour in the rain initially, but then dry as normal. Um, and the lady who sold it to me said she's actually put hers in a washing machine. That's not a recommendation of mine. I have not tried that, I can't say. I did buy myself a cork belt in brown, as I couldn't find a leather one. And I think that's quite pretty with a design on it. Some belts they do as um, backed by leather, and this might be backed by leather. There's also just cork both sides. I can't swear whether this is leather or cork on the other side, but it's um, it feels very firm, you know, like like leather. So, so cork belts are something to look for as well. Drinks mats and other type of tiles are big in Madeira and Portugal too. Then on the food front, uh, there's little um, biscuits, Madeiran biscuits maybe, for bringing back to people or bringing back to your own kitchen. And we also brought back this Madeira and honey cake. Um, this is the samples of this all over the place in shops. Really nice. The um, It's quite a heavy, heavy cake, actually heavy in weight as well. Um, they said you don't need to freeze it or keep for at least a year, I think she told me. Um, 
yeah so a year and that um once you cut it you can then just store it don't need to put it in the fridge or um freeze it you can just cut it cut it and carry on cutting it during during the um you know the year so just store it in a cupboard even after you've cut it